Only on 10 South Florida residents on the lookout for rental trucks. Police on top of a trend where U-Hauls are being rented or even stolen to commit burglaries and robberies. And this is happening across Miami-Dade and Broward. Local 10's Andrew Perez is live with the shocking video you'll only see on 10. Andrew. And Nicole, I want you to take a look at something. This is a list of just recent crimes involving U-Hauls. There are dozens of them. This is only in the city of Fort Lauderdale alone, but this is something happening in so many cities across South Florida. In Western Broward, a major crime spree, a driver in a U-Haul going door to door, stealing a whole lot of mail. They don't care if you have a camera. They don't care if you have a ring. <laughs> Further south down in West Park, this yellow kitty train was stolen. The crook also in a U-Haul. I feel helpless. Victims frustrated and time and again, we see the same thing. Rental trucks used in burglaries, robberies, vandalism and more. They're everywhere. You can't drive around Broward County without seeing one, so they kind of blend in with the crowd. Detective Michael Salvati with the Fort Lauderdale Police Department is very familiar with the crime trend, sharing a list of recent incidents like this case of Southwest 23rd Court in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, the U-Haul is backing into the driveway of a house that's being uh, renovated. And they ended up stealing uh, a couple large items, a refrigerator, uh, electric range oven, so and dishwasher. The case is still under investigation, but all across South Florida, you'd be surprised how often rental trucks are used. In some instances, it's the person that rented the U-Haul from one of the, the dealers uh, locally. Um, and in some instances, um, we've had it to where the people will go on site and actually steal the keys from the U-Haul. Like this U-Haul reported stolen that sped into oncoming traffic and crashed back in December in Fort Lauderdale. Police tracking the trend in order to stay ahead of it, warning residents to do the same, to be aware no matter what city you live in. Detectives telling me that because of all of this, they work really closely with U-Haul. They keep track and try to stay ahead of the tactics being used. They also say the uh, communities, the eyes and ears for the police department. More often than not, you'll know if something feels off, if a truck is driving around aimlessly for quite a while or maybe pulls up to a house at an odd hour, your neighbor's home. They say it's always best to just call police to investigate just in case. That's the latest here in Fort Lauderdale, though. I'm Andrew Perez, Local 10 News. Good advice. Thanks, Andrew.